everybody, my name is Natasha and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new then hey! I know it's been a couple of months since I last uploaded a video, but I've been super busy. Um, I've recently like be gone back to work in a proper job, so I haven't really had much free time between my business and my other work. So, here I am, with my first video back. Um, it's going to be a walk around the charity shops with me and I'm just going to talk about the things that I find and then next week I do have a haul for you guys so stay tuned for that and if you're not subscribed then please do consider doing that but otherwise enjoy the video. So as you can see here I have found this um, really pretty um, photo album. I have some giant photo albums but this one did catch my eye, I didn't buy it though. And then I found these herb, um, little herb, what do we call those, Plant planters? And I kind of wish I got them. I thought this bag was really cool. I didn't buy it because I'm trying to cut back, but I could appreciate it. It kind of reminded me of like a picnic basket. And um, to be fair, I like the one next to it as well. And then I found these little metal spoons with um, acorns at the top, which I thought was adorable. I don't know what these type of spoons are for, but if you do know, then let me know in the comments. Um, I just thought that they were really cute. I'd probably use them for like tea bags or something. Um, and then I was out with my sister and we found this in the men's section and I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. It's really bright. Um, I was tempted, I didn't. <laughs> and here is a little teapot set. Um, I've been looking for a teapot set and I just haven't found the one yet. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, but I'll know when I find it. I thought that these shoes were interesting, they'd go with that jumper. And then moving on to a little bit of the clothing, um, I love looking at patterns and textures um, as you can see in these two items here. I actually really like this cardigan, I just don't think I would wear it because I've had this type of thing before um, and I just don't tend to gravitate towards it. I, I love, I do love it and again I kind of regret not getting it. I thought this was really cute, not for me but for somebody else, if you had like a special occasion or something this was nice it's like a, a knitted little summer top now this one is I believe it was from Sainsbury's I really like their um, fabric designs they're very little sort of bohemian um, which I'm definitely into and then I found some velvet I'm always drawn to velvet this top wasn't for me though I don't really wear blue that much um, and here was another one Having a quick little sieve through. I've not really been in the clothing mood recently. Um, since starting work again, I just have to wear black all the time. So I don't know. It's just I don't see the point in wearing clothes when I'm at work five days a week wearing black. Um, that's just the same clothes. And then I found these tablecloths. They were all um, embroidered and really really cute I was tempted to get them and turn them into pillowcases like some cute vintagey style pillowcases but I didn't end up doing that in the end um yeah I, I absolutely love them I love these orange flowers really really nice I am um, I did open some of them up and there was like little holes and stuff like that so I would recommend like always checking your fabrics when you're in the chat shops because you never know sometimes they have big stains and stuff um, but sometimes you do find a gem, so it's definitely worth checking. Um, but yeah, I could just think of so many crafts to do with these. And there were so many of them too, I actually found loads while I was out. This little dress caught my eye, but it was actually just from Shein. Um, it felt like really nice quality though, to be fair. I always check just in case I find something. I'm not really in the clothing mood, but you never know, just in case there might be that little gem. So all of these video clips are kind of like a comp compilation, is that the right word? Of um, all the different shops in my town, which is, well, city, which is um, Ripon. We've got loads of charity shops here. So you, if you're ever looking for a day out and you just want to do like a whole day thrifting, um, it's definitely a great place to do it. I believe there's about 12 or 13 charity shops here in total, all within walking distance of each other. They're pretty much all on the main square. 
and they did just open a brand new giant y YMCA, which I haven't actually been to yet. I actually just found out that it opened today. So I do plan on checking it out and I will be happy to film it if you guys are interested in that too. Just let me know in the comments. So here I am again looking at some more fabrics. Um, I love that. I loved that one. I just, I don't need any more fabrics. I have loads and I'm trying to use the stuff that I have before buying new. Um, I do have a few things to show you in a haul, but I have been collecting them for, well, since my last video, uh, which was January, I think. I have bought a few things and I have put them aside. Um, so I will be showing you those. Obviously, it's been a couple of months, so I have picked up enough to do a haul. <laughs> Um, but I used to come home with bags and bags and bags, so I feel like progress. I also just donated four bags um, myself to the charity shops, and my sister do uh, donated m more than that. Um, so we're having a good clear out here, making room for some new finds. There was this whole basket of zips, and I was so tempted to get a few, but I have loads of zips i have loads but i really like all the colors these ones are quite chunky as well um and yeah i don't know when i see crafting stuff in the charity shops i just instantly get ideas i thought these were really beautiful cute little vases there as well i see these sort of monkey things everywhere as well i like little hear no speak no then I found this, uh, another teapot set, and this is like the milk jug and the teapot, at least I think that's what it is. And that one is actually really good. I could have bought that one, to be fair. And then over here, I found like these four kind of cooking pots, which you'll see in a minute. Um, coasters, love coasters, always so tempted by those. I honestly have about five sets though, so I didn't need them. Um, but here are those cooking pots. I liked all of them. Like, all four of them I could have easily taken home with me. They're all cute. Where would I store them? I don't know. I don't. I don't have the cupboard space in the kitchen to store them. But I could quite happily take them home. And I have one. So if you have any good recipe ideas for what you would put in those type of pots, then let me know. Because I've never once used mine. Like, ever. moving along we're back on to clothing so in this shop they tend to be really good for clothing they do color organize everything and then within that color section it is always size ordered as well um, which is obviously super helpful um, as the customer like looking for your size but you also want to shop by color um, they obviously do have some bits like this part is just kind of miscellaneous it's a bunch of different colors together but for the most part, they do really well on um, separating it all. They also separate like the trousers, the skirts, the tops, which again is nice. I thought this top was really cool. So it was kind of like covered in eyes. The only thing I didn't like about it was the um, where it button where it buttons because it's kind of silky, which made me feel like it might have been a pajama top, maybe. So I am on the lookout for a denim jacket um, that I want to try and customise, which I'll do in a video for you. Um, but I just need to find that jacket first. I was tempted by this rain, this little rain jacket here um, because I don't have a rain jacket. And I'm kind of thinking, what do we do in summer when it rains? So yeah, I'm definitely thinking about getting one of those. And then we're looking at the bric-a-brac. I think this is skirts or pillowcases. Is this pillowcases? Skirts? I can't tell. <laughs> I think skirts. This is more like the work attire kind of section. It's always like um, shirts and things like that. And my favourite section in any charity shop is always the sort of little homeware bric-a-brac all the little knickknacks that is my favorite part to look around I didn't actually find anything in this one um did I no no I didn't think so <coughs> sorry about that another pair of really colorful shoes if you can't tell I have been ill <coughs> I've been ill for the last three weeks and I'm still not 100% 
and my voice has just gone funny um <laughs> but so i found these um like this little spe is it a spooly spooly a spooly a spooly holder um i was tempted i didn't buy it i do have like a wooden one um which is absolutely fine so i did talk myself out of that purchase um i thought this was cute it's a little brooch um i didn't i didn't i didn't get it i don't really wear brooches um i do tend to look at them a lot though i really like this little cat purse i thought it was adorable again i didn't need it did i want it yes <laughs> checking jewelry this necklace reminds me of some of my products it's very very similar to what i do um, and then there was this really cute bowl. I love the colour and I love the pattern. It was kind of like one of those bamboo feeling ones. Um, I'm not sure if it was. Maybe it was. Checking the jewellery. I love to check the jewellery for beads um, and just jewellery. I'm a massive jewellery fan so I'm always having a little look. But I do also use uh, broken jewellery and old um, you know, things that aren't really stylish. I do actually use them for crafts checking all of the embroidery again this one is pretty cute there was this peacock one as well um i just don't really like the lace i think the one with the flower pots was really beautiful um again i did consider making pillows out of it i don't know why i'm really gravitating towards the vintage style stuff at the moment um i don't know since i got that patchwork blanket uh, last year I've just I really want stuff to go with it um, I do this I tend to switch up my style all the time and it's a nightmare for decorating I'm in the process of repainting the entire house again so wish me luck <laughs> uh, having a look at skirts because again if you find a skirt that you really like um, the fabric of then they are easy to turn into pillowcases as well and oh, I always look at leopard print. I was obsessed with the Cheetah Girls uh, when I was younger, so I just, I always look at it. <laughs> I don't think I'd wear it, um, but yeah. Then I found these, they're kind of like a knockoff Minecraft uh, paper bags, so like gift bags. Um, I did actually pick them up. Um, I think the boys would really like them, whether it's just to put in their lunchbox or if they have a party. I, I just thought they were real cool. And then we have this vase, which reminded me of my mum. She has one of these in her bathroom. It's a different pattern and everything, but um, yeah, she's got one. So this reminded me of her. I'm checking the crafting stuff again. They had quite a bit in this shop and I did pick up most of the things I bought on this occasion um, were actually from here. Um, I found some like loads of hair clips and just kind of like all sorts really. You'll see it next week in my haul. Um, yeah, some interesting stuff. And then I found this adorable spinning wheel. It's so cute. It is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. Um, I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. It makes the perfect little ornament to go into a, like, just into my office. And then there was this 1950s press. I was so tempted to buy it just for the sake of it. I didn't. Um... I feel like my restraint is getting a lot better, but um, yeah, I was I was tempted. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what you use what you'd press it in it, but you know. There was also this box which I was really drawn to. Um, let me know if you know what it's what it was for. Um, I have absolutely no idea. I thought you could put like pencils in it or pens or something. Um, you know, in like a in your craft room could look really cool. I don't really use pens and pencils too much nice little vintage hairdress hairdressing not hairdressing but a hair set and looking over here um i don't really tend to come over this side much they've got these little novelty like place spoons um we used to have quite a lot of these when i was a kid uh like egypt and stuff i don't know if my parents still have those there was a um vintage singer for 45 pounds which i thought was really good i don't know if it works it didn't say but it had all of its box and everything. Um, checking embroidery again. Just in case, you never know. I don't know if people still use handkerchiefs. Like, let me know if you do. Um, I find them all the time. I, I don't, so people, I don't know if people are still making them or if 
people are just donating like their grandparents ones I don't know um but yeah let me know if you use one <laughs> I always check the um beads again here we are uh craft supply section in this one they tend they have like a little dressing room area that they've cordoned off just for crafts um you do find some good stuff in here I tend to find a lot of doilies in this one um they also have a lot of buttons all the time here's example a uh <laughs> i also found these really cool um like sparkly threads which i feel like could look really cool on a project let me know if you've ever used that type of thread before and how it goes in the machine um i don't know i've never used it so that's going to be it from me in this video i hope that you did enjoy it a haul will be going up next week so um hopefully i will see you then and um, yeah, bye!